Hey everybody, my name's Kalima. I am a Uber Eats driver. Dylan asked me to fill in for him and do a little video about my experience as a driver. I normally work in entertainment, but this is my little side hustle. So I thought I could come and give you guys a couple tips. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and definitely leave some comments in the comment section if you have any questions or if you've experienced the same things I have. You can follow me at Kalima Cam TV. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Let's try to get this to 100 likes if we can, guys. Okay, so today I wanna share 10 tips for new Uber Eats drivers. First of all, make a schedule. If you're like me, then your life is a little sporadic. Some days you're available to drive Uber Eats, some days you're not. So if you look on the Uber Eats app, you can actually see um, what days they're offering like bonuses like boost um hours and that's usually how I work my schedule around because I don't really like to work for the regular rate I'd rather work knowing that I'm making a higher rate it may be a little bit of a learning curve but you'll definitely get used to it so number two, create your own strategy. If you know that this is a certain area that you already know well, stick within that area. Make sure that your car is clean and, you know, at least your passenger seat is open um, so that you can easily put your food down your drink holders are open so you can easily put your drinks in there. Create like a flow for yourself so it just becomes a little bit easier. Number three, treat your customers as friends. If you know that something's going on with the restaurant, send them a quick text message. Don't text and drive, but you know, make a quick phone call if you can and let them know what's going on. When you get to their house, say if you couldn't get a hold of them, make sure that when you give them your food, give them their food, make sure you tell them, hey, this is what happened. Um, if it's in any inconvenience to you, make sure to call Uber because they're the ones that are going to help you with this problem. I found that the nicer you are to the customers, the more likely they are to tip. Living in Los Angeles, um, people are always on the go, so they're just wanting to get their food. They don't really care for a conversation, really. So just being extra nice to them, it makes them remember you and they feel like better about their experience and they're likely to tip. Sometimes the people you think are not going to tip, they actually do tip. Um, I had one girl I actually forgot to get her drink and she was really upset about it um, she just sort of had this energy where it's like oh like she forgot my drink I'm not gonna call uber just to get a drink but she ended up tipping me anyway <laughs> which you know I felt really bad about but um to see you know that there are some people who are just like it happens you know there's people who are servers and stuff drivers uber eats drivers themselves and they're just like hey i'm still gonna tip her i know that she's living for tips you know i know that tips mean a lot to her number four communicate with your customers um if there's something going on like i said definitely let them know via text or call but also let them know that if there's an issue they need to call uber or you should call uber yourself because other Otherwise, that customer may take it out on you and it may affect your tip if they think that you were the one that was in control of that issue. Explain to them that it was out of your control and that Uber will either refund them or, you know, you can call Uber and see if you could get a credit. But let them know like what's going on so that your name is in the clear and you'll continue to have a great review. Number five, since you're not previewed to what restaurants you can accept beforehand, make sure to be in the areas that you know are good restaurants you know great menus where people are likely to you know get bigger orders or you know at least you are familiar with the route so that you can run to that restaurant and you know the streets to be able to get back to whatever address you have to go to um yeah you're not previewed to the address of where you're going to be delivering to so it's better to take control of what you can which is the restaurants that you're going to be going to and for me personally I don't like to be at I don't like to deliver from McDonald's restaurants McDonald's restaurants tend to be like people who obviously 
don't have a lot of money and they can't really tip a lot um tips really do help with the wage so i try to avoid anything from mcdonald's and the best thing about it is in the app you can cancel at any time um i'm in los angeles so it does differ from different cities but if you cancel there is no penalty for los angeles um also if there's a long wait time at a restaurant they used to pay for waiting but now it's like if you have to cancel you can cancel so once i accept and i see that it's mcdonald's i usually cancel unless my shift has been super dead i usually cancel mcdonald's <laughs> Number six, try to get all the condiments and, you know, utensils that you can. Um, if you're not one to remember those little things, make sure to let the restaurant people know, hey, are all the condiments and everything inside? If they say no, grab them yourself. And you can also tell Uber, call Uber and say, hi, every time I come to this restaurant, unfortunately, they don't prepare these bags properly. It is their responsibility to do so. Um... I guess maybe in different cities the responsibilities may differ, but I've never like gotten a call from Uber or anything that said, hey, since you forgot the utensils, you know we're going to have to give you a bad rating or something like that. So just try to prepare as much as you can for that delivery. Number nine, speaking back to just driving in general um, and sort of creating your own schedule, um, I suggest driving part-time first don't jump in doing full-time just because you don't know what to expect you don't know like I'm in LA where it is very busy if I was not familiar with driving on the roads here I don't think I'd want to commit to a full-time situation um, that's what's so great about being a delivery driver is it's flexible so if you decide that you know what I think this is better for a part-time or a side hustle for me I'm gonna go ahead and do that last but not least and this may be the most important thing is to save uber's number in your phone um, always screenshot your routes always um, get a reference number for that call also if you know that there's gonna be something going on with that customer say if you delivered and they're just not answering their door and you've decided to go ahead and leave their food right outside and leave a note to let them know that hey I left your food outside because remember uber does not pay for all wait times um, you can you can screenshot that customers um, uh, ID code for that delivery or the order number for that delivery and make sure to call uber and let them know um this person never came outside but i did leave their food outside because that customer could really put it as your fault if you don't clear yourself if you've decided that you actually think that this might be a great fit for you and you haven't signed up yet, you can definitely use my referral code, which means that you will get a bonus and the bonus does differ per city, but without a referral code, you won't get an extra bonus on your deliveries and why not make some extra money on top of the money that you're already making. Thank you guys again. Make sure to give a thumbs up, comment where you're from and who you drive for. If you already drive for a different platform or the same platform, definitely let me know. Once again, my Instagram is at Kalimacam TV, and this has been another awesome episode of Rideshare Hub. Hope to see you next time.